Hey, what's going on, you guys? Uh, this is Bryant. Um, just coming at you with a new video, kind of a vloggy style video. It's gonna be kind of an unboxing too. So, um, one of my hobbies that for, for years, probably for at least the last ten plus years, has been photography. And um, I dabble in it on and off. I have a lot of other hobbies, as y'all you all can see. Um, last camera I bought was back in. December 2011 yeah 2011 uh, I bought a camera from QVC I know I'm not I may look young but I kind of old at heart a lot of people old people <laughs> shop in QVC as a stereotypically known as but um I bought a uh, Canon EOS Rebel T3i I've been using since then um it's a bundle um kit lens plus a zoom lens and a bag and some other stuff that came with it um, so I've been using that ever since then, on and off. I do mostly pictures. I've done videos on it. Typically, videos I usually just use my phone or something. So I try to invest in a nice phone because um, I use those for videos. Um, like this video, this uh, video right now, this part of the video, I'm taking it on my Note 10 Plus because um, I want. I'm interested to see how the video is going to look. Also, because I don't really take very many. Uh, videos with the front-facing camera but um over the last three years I've been wanting to upgrade my camera um, I've looked at I started out with the uh, all cannons I don't have nothing against Nikon anybody if anyone may ask me in the comments or whatever get Nikon versus Canon my first DSLR was a Nikon um, before I bought my current Canon the old my old Canon to the other part in a minute. Um, I was actually looking for a Nikon because I mean I, I've used it and I was like I, I just go get what I what I know. But the one I wanted, I think QVC didn't offer or it was too much money. I can't remember which one. So um, I decided to go Canon, which honestly most people, unless they're fanboys, you know, one way or another, fan people, I should say. Uh, one way or another, uh, there's not much of a difference between both of them. I haven't had a problem out of the Nikon I had years ago. I had a D60, I believe. Um, and I have a, my T3i now. But um, anyway, so um, I wanted, it was a, it was a D5300 or 5500 or something like that Nikon I was looking at, and it, I didn't get one. I didn't have the money to buy, you know, to spend, because I think for retail, I think it was like $800. Uh, the D60 I had, I remember I paid like 550 for it back in 2009, I believe. Um, yeah, 2009. Um, so I went to Canon, looked at a couple things, and that's how I got the uh, the T3i now. Um, very good camera. Um, hardly very uh, many issues that I can remember. I don't think I really had any issues. And if I did have any issues, probably self-inflicted. Um, but now, uh, going into the, uh, the the upgrade so uh, I started out looking at T6i so I think I went to a T6s looked at those then I started looking at the 70d didn't really like it so now because uh, it was it was something between the 70 and 80d that the 80d had it 70d didn't have so I started looking at 70d then Canon came out with a 77d started looking at that then I kept wavering between 7070, 80D, 7070, 80D. Um, but then I, I was just looking through something not too long ago, maybe a few months ago, that, um, yeah, about, yeah maybe, maybe about a month or two ago, that Canon came out with a 90D uh, that does 4K video. And that was the key component of why I ended up buying what I bought because of the 4K videos. Um, because my Marvel Car Channel, I do a lot of 4K videos on that. Which, granted, being as a DSLR, I can't see how, what kind of 4K I'm gonna be doing on a model car, a 118 scale model car. Probably not very much, but I might use it for other stuff. Um, the cars I usually just use my phone because it's small enough, it's handheld. I can just hold it up. Or I usually actually have my phone on my DJI DJI Osmo Mobile uh, stabilizer to, to make the the shots more steady. But um, actually, that's the, the thing with this video today. I actually just purchased a off of Amazon. I bought a Canon 90D. 
uh, DSLR body only. I didn't really need the lenses or anything because I have two lenses already. Then I went out and bought another lens today um, to use with it. So um, let's go ahead and get started with this unboxing. All right, so here we are going with the unboxing. This is my Canon EOS 90D. Uh, definitely a big upgrade over my T3i. I love my baby though. Um, of course, I, as you just seen, I'm shooting this on my T3i. Weird, right? Uh, this is a 32 megapixel uh, CMOS. 32 and a half, excuse me, megapixel CMOS. ISO 25600, and it looks like for photos and video is 12,800. Does up to 4K video, I believe it. 24 frames per second. Uh, it has a dual focus, uh, oh, sorry, dual pixel autofocus, eye detection, autofocus, has a viewfinder, uh, approximately 100%. Wi Fi and Bluetooth, which is one of the other things I really like. Uh, wanted to experiment with, not really experiment, but just, you know, as a uh, form of convenience. Um, because this camera doesn't have Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, my T3i. Um, I do have a remote for it though. Um, I bought off of eBay a few years ago. That I rarely use to be honest with you. But I had one. Um, but at least with the uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, I can do remote pictures and videos and stuff. You know, depending on what I'm doing. Um, keep from accidentally um, checking the camera and stuff. Oh, this is just a normal cannon box. Um, I forgot how my T3i box looks. I still have it. It's in, um, it's in the storage closet outside. Um, includes the Canon Rebel the 90D strap, battery charger, and battery pack. Sorry if I keep pausing. I can't see that well. Um, and it does have the articulating screen just like my T3i. I love but this one's touch screen also. Love that. Um, also I love with some of these higher cameras they have the screen on the top. As you can see. That's a little screen right there. I um, rented an 80D a couple of years ago and I that, that screen does come in handy because you can see everything right there. Um, just in case you have a question, you don't have to keep looking through the camera or the screen. The screen on the bottom, I mean the back of the camera to see what setting is on. Um, and that's about it. So let's go ahead and get it on the box. I've actually already opened this box earlier, but um, I wanted to do an unboxing because I just wanted to. Packing slip. This camera retails, the body only version, retails for $1,199 US dollars. Um, I think the kit, I believe, is like $1,399.99, I believe. I didn't spend that because I don't need it. I, don't, I already have a lens, a uh, couple of lenses. Uh, the one that's on this, I'm using on the T3i right now is the 18 to 55 millimeter lens. Um, it's got the image stabilization and all of that. Uh, here's your books that I will never read. I actually found the uh, owner's name to my T3i the other day. It was kind of messed up, but I mean, I've had the phone, I mean, the, the camera for about nine years, so of course it wouldn't look, it wouldn't look that great. Here is the battery, which I will be buying some more of those at some point, like I did with this camera. I bought a couple batteries for it at, at some point because I needed more batteries. It's a charger, which I love. I like my T3i charger. It actually plugs directly into the wall. The T3i, it actually just has that. And then you plug a cable into it and the cable plugs into the wall. Which is, gets kind of annoying. Oh, but it's the neck strap ADD. Right there. I do use that quite a few. I mean, quite a lot. Um, Anything. Interesting, my uh, 90, my uh, T3i only just says Canon and then it says EOS Digital. That's all it says. Interesting. And, and these little plastic inserts. Mm, that's really it. Other than the camera. Not really much in here. I think I leaked 
my other cam my T3I came with software though. This one doesn't. So here's the body. Again, it's body only. Battery and the uh, strap. Usually where it's gonna be anyway flipped out. But even though I try to remind myself to flip it in just in case it falls or something, I want nothing to hurt the screen. But I'll probably end up getting a screen protector for it at some point, like I did I did for this camera. If I end up taking it off for some reason, I can't remember why. I think it was coming off anyway. Um, but yep, yeah, 90D. That thing really is not really much to show. Pop the battery back uh, back in for a second. At the bottom, I can set it up and stuff. Uh, let's go. Goes like that. Gotta get used to that. And on. So I'm blinking right there. Ah, change battery pack. <laughs> well, I guess that's the end of this uh, unboxing video. I have to charge this battery. But um, I will uh, take some sample shots and I'll publish them along with this video. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Alright, we're back. I got the battery all nice and charged up completely. Let's get this set up. It is February. Setting that up. Now I just need a memory card, so I'm about to switch. And also, let's go ahead and do a couple of practice shots. This is the lens I purchased today. This is a Canon EF 50mm uh, 1.8 uh, f stop STM lens. Uh, just another uh, lens. I'm going to hope I can maybe use this with my uh, model car photography. Uh, just this picture of the lens, and it's not pretty much in here. Um, it's just a normal Canon box. So on the paperwork, got the lens. I'll probably look at it later because I need to get a filter warranty. Right. Here's the lens.
and here we go. Let's take a couple of test shots.